What is up, guys? We are back with a new segment of what we're calling Going For It, uh, our football podcast here on the Junk Drawer Show. I hope you guys enjoyed. I sat down with Craig this week and we talked all things quarterbacks in the NFL. Uh, this, of course, is prior to Carson Wentz being traded because naturally we're a jinx. But I hope you guys enjoy everything anyway. Uh, check out the segments and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. So mentioning Deshaun and in, in in saying his name, I feel like we've said it three times, so it's time to to Beetlejuice this. Um, what what if you're Deshaun Watson, where do you want to go? I do like that. What that that's the um do the do the what? frozen graphic, the thumbnail graphic is your face <laughs> and white uh, with with color background and the what in white. It's like click on this because you want to know what Deshaun Watson. <laughs> They screwed this up so bad. The they in this particular is the ownership group and the management group. And again, anyone that that is in player personnel, they told him to his face he would be a part of a process. They then did not even hint at letting him be a part of that process. That is a level of disrespect that I think shows to me, and this is stepping, I'm stepping an entitlement that the modern player just doesn't vibe with. The the 10 years ago, 20 years ago, and before that, players would snap in line, snap in line, although there were a few that stood out. We are in the modern era where the athlete knows their worth, knows there's uh, an opportunity for them to use a cell phone and move their fans. That young man might have more fans than the damn team. So... He came with fans from Clemson. He's got fans that don't even, just because you like the way he plays the damn game, right? I'm not saying I'm like a stand for him like I am for Peyton, right? But he was a fun guy to watch play. Oh, I watched And him. he still is a fun guy to watch play. Yes. They screwed this up so bad because all they had to do was put him on a Zoom meeting or two. Literally, that would have been it. I don't even think he was that concerned with who it would have been if he was a damn part of it. If they put him in the room, it's it, it's so upsetting because you two years ago, three years ago, you look at the Texans and you say, "Boy, Close. that team is is a, is something." It's gonna happen. And you look at where they are now, and you you kind of just wonder how they fell ass backwards into a team with Jadavian Clowney, J.J. Watt, Deshaun Watson, DeAndre Hopkins, and and didn't win anything. They won nothing. Zero things. So that should have been, in I guess hindsight being 2020, that should have been the telltale sign that there was mismanagement happening. Bingo, bingo. But here we are, years later, and we're watching this dumpster just burn. Well, that that team's not even uh, been around that long, right? I, we've lived through their expansion. Right. We we've lived through this. They were the team to take uh, the wrong car brother. Not that there's a right car brother at this point. I think we're there now. We're not sure that there's a right one. There's a better one. It's Derek. It so, is Derek. They, but Derek didn't even go first. David Carr went first overall to the Houston Texans, and that was the beginning of where we are now with that team, which is not only can't they make good decisions, but they, when they do make good decisions, they light them on fire. So that's what happened. That's happening here with Deshaun with it already happened with Deandre and and JJ Watt. You, you made good decisions and couldn't even use them appropriately. They're going to go down in the, in these 10 to 15 years as one of the worst franchises in terms of the output versus the talent. And I think we're going to see some of these guys win elsewhere and prove it. I, I liken them just because there's a running theme now. I'm going to liken it to basketball. Oklahoma City Thunder of of the NFL. They had Durant, Harden, and Westbrook. Now, went much further than the Texans, mind you. Yes. But they did. They did. And, like, couldn't get it together. And now Durant leaves and instantly wins, just instantly becomes everything. And now we may see Harden join Durant and do that again. Like the Texans blew it. They're going to be bottom feeders for a hot minute now because of it, because they lost core pieces. And I don't think Deshaun plays a snap for them ever again. 
Well, and they don't even have draft capital to be in the race for who, yeah, who could be at, at three. You can make an argument the Jets, if they're committed to Sam Darnold, you then get the choice of whoever's not Trevor Lawrence, Justin Fields, or Zach Wilson. Yes. And then you're like, cool, franchise quarterback. This is this doesn't hurt as bad losing to Sean because we have that. the next. They can still get that if they wield the trade as they should. The, the the rhetoric they're saying, this to me, I feel like they're bad business people too because they're diluting, they're trying to posture that they won't trade him when every human on earth knows they may have to trade him because he's not showing up. He has other money. He will get another shot. Yes. He's Based not, on talent alone, he will get another opportunity somewhere. He's not poor either. He got some of that money already. Yes, he might have to give some back, but he's not poor. You've wronged this young man. If you don't either apologize, which I've not seen, I've not seen a public one, and really embrace him in a different way, he's just not going to show up. We've seen holdouts before. Why does the team think, oh, a quarterback couldn't hold out? Why are they thinking that? Did they think it's only running backs and wide receivers and cornerbacks? Like, because there's never been a big one that did it before? Who cares? You've slighted this man to his face. And he said he doesn't <laughs> want to play for your team anymore. And then they're saying, the owner's saying, he will be a Texan. He will be a Texan. I'm like, y'all don't get it. You could still have said that stuff privately while sending the appropriate text messages to get seven draft picks out of him. So in that in in that vein, what is it going to take to get Deshaun Watson? What is what is the, the beginning part they of wait, a trade? The worse the package gets. What's that? Well, I, I was saying, what does it look? What does that package begin to look like? But I agree with your statement. The longer that they, the more Deshaun gets, the more upset he is that he is a Texan the less value he has yes. because they know at this point you have to trade this right. I don't and have to give you the farm because you have to move him that's what's happening and why I think they positioned it wrong let me so we were on Deshaun and and we were talking about the package and how it is being diluted literally daily every tweet every Instagram hurts their position they already blew it to the point where it is the package I would, if I was a GM, would already be missing a pick or two. But what it could have been is no joke player in like three firsts. Like it could have been that. It could have been so nasty. I think now you're still in a player two firsts and something else. I really think you're still there because of how often – I was trying to explain this to my dad. A top five – quarterback does not become available this way no. via trade you get free agent moments rarely because they get re-signed oh yeah it's with with we're in the season of it stafford's bounty was i forget even i forget two even firsts what. and that was two firsts in golf who was a number one overall right 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 but but very david carian if, if, yeah if, yeah know. yeah he is a pedestrian one yeah yeah but boy, were his feelings hurt. <laughs> Sorry. You're going to love Detroit, buddy. You're going to love Detroit. Good town and all, but like, he is, he was very butthurt with how the Rams did it. Sean McVay just wants to win, okay? And Stafford Well, just I, I read something that got leaked too from like a player text that he was, he was chatting and he was like, yeah, I would give the pipe to Sean McVay's fiance or I, maybe it was girlfriend at the time, but he was like, I get why Sean's so happy all the time, and I you can't say that, man. About Coach, you know that. See, this is very interesting because they were on Hard Knocks, and I saw the wife, and I was, or the fiance at the time, and I was like, oh, I think she's like a model or something, because he's a young stud in the NFL, but he's not, oh, yeah. like, he's not like the most handsome dude. She was, he, he, she vastly outperformed him physically, is where I was coming from there. So if there was some chatter, some some locker room talk. You're out of here, son. You're out of here. You know you what like, Matt, Matt Stafford like is? Married. <laughs> fucking Troy. You like the weather? You like Southern California? You're going to the cold? You're going to the Motor City? Get Dan out. Dan Campbell. Dan Campbell. 
you're, ooh, that's so much better than everything I thought about that transaction. That's the only thing I'll think of now when I see that. Deshaun's not going to be a Texan. I would bet money on that. We're not going to get him. I wish. I wish. We do have that third pick. We do have the capital to do it. I just don't think they're going to get it done. Do you think the Texans completely bungle this? And this is where we'll, where we'll kind of close this out. Sure. And don't trade him before draft day. I think they do bungle it to that level. And I think that day, though, would be their last chance to get the most because the hype of the day. So we oh, yeah. could see a draft day trade that kind of makes them save the day, if you will, because that could happen. That could happen. Day, um, the first 10 picks, that, that could definitely happen. And then we would talk that they still bungled it, but that it may be less because they could use that urgency. Maybe there's a weird pick in the first two or three and some calls start happening. That is what you hope their GM and their people are doing, like making scenarios, because if they're not running through every scenario, they're going to whiff on this big and they're going to get to what um, it's July or August. And he's just not going to show up. (laughs) They're going to send a car. He's not going to live there anymore. Like (laughs) he's rich. He doesn't need to be where they want him to be. This is it. I mean, how long did it take for him to answer his phone after Bill O'Brien traded DeAndre Hopkins? I don't rem- I know I read the story. I don't remember the term, but it was lo- long enough where you're was, like this guy. It was a long time. Yeah. I, I don't remember the exact date, but it was a long time. They don't respect him. He clearly doesn't respect them anymore, and he shouldn't. I, I'm actually, in this instance, I'm not always on the player's side with, with these holdout scenarios. And he's not holding out yet, yet mind you. But I, I really came to it over the years where I really got off that high horse of like, they're being paid millions of dollars. They should do whatever. I'm like, no, 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 wait a minute. You start lying to people's faces. It's not about what you're being paid. This is a job. This is a job. If I started with team members on my team just lying to their faces, it doesn't matter what you're paying them. They sh- that, that should result in something wrong happening. If I'm there like, you're going to get to do this thing. Yes, it's going to have core problems. Their leadership needs to be blown up. I don't think they're at the, you know, Donald Sterling, get the owner out of here yet move. But he needs to do some big work on his management team to revitalize. They're going to lose so many season ticket holders off Watt alone, let alone, I just don't believe Watson returns. I I don't know how he could. I I truly don't know how he could. You've you've taken everything from this guy that – he thought was going to help make him successful yes. and you don't have the pieces in place to be able to draft replacements for what you're giving up and they're on the cap they yeah. are one of the teams with the least amount of cap space in the yeah. nfl so it's not even like you can go out and get somebody they, they blew it at every facet did you read the article of what of jj watt apologized to him did you hear about that or you know jj was heard about this about J.J. was open about it. It's very uh, not nice to the Texans, but that's okay. He apologized to Deshaun Watson saying, and the quote was, and he said it, J.J. said it, that he said, I'm sorry for wasting one of your years. He knows that kid's so talented. And they burned a year of what, because his talent is so freaking high. It's, It's crazy. You've got Mahomes. Rodgers, he's in the three conversation with Russell. With the, He's right there. He's oh, yeah. right in that talk. And I know Tom Brady's Tom Brady, but in terms of athletic, where they can go and the ceiling of the throws, well, Tom's yeah, a You're talking about five years from now. You're talking yeah. about this is someone you can build a franchise around now. Now, 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 which is why I'm trying to talk my Dolphin friend, fan friends, if you will, into why it would be an excellent move. It is a win now move. A team should, should, and they are, calling. It's that the Texans are, are probably getting low-balled right now because everyone knows their position stinks and they're being stubborn. But somebody's going to make a deal in the three-pick and a player range. Yeah, RG3 territory seems about right for for that that price. And you're getting a proven talent for that. that you, yeah, that feels like a good deal.